All right, guys, today I am down here at Woburn Golf Club, here on the Duke's course for a brand new 10 shot challenge video. And it wouldn't be fair to take anyone else on around this golf course apart from this man, Ian Poulter. Ian, I'm How excited. I'm nervous. Good, that makes two of us. The concept's simple. Okay. I start 10 on the par, you start level par. Yep. 18 hole stroke play. So far, I've played Tommy Fleetwood, Lee Westwood, Adam Scott, Ricky Fowler. You are the fifth competitor. I am yet to win. Even with a 10 shot head start, I am yet to win. I've taken a few of them down the 18th hole. Oh, have we? Okay. But yet to win. Now, Today's a special one because we are here at your home golf course, somewhere you've been here, attached here for 20 years. I'm excited about this one. We've just done a fantastic podcast. Check it out with Ian. Uh, that'll be on the channels already. Now, considering you are the captain of Majestics, I believe you should lead us off. Thank as you. The captain of this. Okay. Have a, have a good game, Ian. Play well. Enjoy. <laughs> Feel like at the moment, Ryder Cup legend match play magician is currently just 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 going easy on me at the moment i feel like i feel like through this 18 holes he's going to ramp up the banter ramp up the pressure what have we got then par four or par five first of all i mean look if you put it in the fairway it's only 514 yards so okay. we got a little bit of wind off the right hand side helping it to go towards the out of bounds post nice um so feed it up the right half let it turn a little right to left Middle of fairway, you should be within four iron range, okay. I would say, to knock it on the green. Sounds good. Sounds good. Okay. Let's get out of pasta, pizza, and vino mode. See what happens. That is absolutely fine. I was a little protective <laughs> aiming down the right half, but I'll take it. <laughs> yeah, that's good. That is good. Wow, right. Okay. What's your normal shot shape? I, do you know what the fun bit is? Multiple options. Okay. So sometimes I go a bit left, sometimes I go a bit right. You know, it's a bit like um, Lucky Dip. My, my, my real natural, natural shape is a draw. Okay. Um, so I'm actually going to go similar line to where you yours finished. Right edge of that greenside trap. Yeah, is a good just, line. And then just draw it back in. Perfect. <sighs> Deep breath, relax. Just think Medina. <laughs> Don't quite. Yeah. <laughs> I was very uh, lubricated watching that. Okay, down the right. Nice little draw. Got it One, down the right. It's a helping hand. What's down there? Heather. Is it did as you, bad did as you, that straight away? Did we, did we hear it hit anything? I, I didn't really hear it hit much, yes, but. Ah, uh, we're going to hear that plenty, I'll hit but I'd hit a provisional. I'll hit a provisional. Oops. <laughs> what do you reckon? Have we got him? I reckon it'll be tighter than you think. Okay, a little further left than that. Okay. <laughs> there is a little bit room around, around that corner to the left. Now, just to give you an insight, I've not had a great track history on the front line in these matches. Oh, have you not? I've often blown it away early okay. doors and then tried to hit, cling on. <sighs> Hopefully I can find that one. But if not, I can make a bogey with the second ball. Don't tell me that one's gone as well, is it? We best find the first. <laughs> is that gone? Has it? Has it? <laughs> Might want to hit another one. <laughs> Has it actually gone? Has it honestly? I didn't see it bouncing. <laughs> Just two minutes. We'll, we'll go and get one more. <laughs> tell you what, I might have to have another sausage sandwich. You carry on like this. I actually think we'll find the first one, no problem. But we'll hit a second provisional. These are just warm up shots. Okay, one right, one left, law of averages. 
Yeah, that one's no problem, but you want to find the first one, I think. <laughs> I sure do. <laughs> Thank you, my friend. Oh, it's just, you know what, it's just make it interesting. I wanted a few extra tee shots before I proper got into this match. Fingers crossed we find the first one. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I have found my first golf ball. Was that lucky? Driving down, he, he nudges yeah. me and goes, I reckon we'll find your first one. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, look, there's actually, there's more room than it looks off the tee, but I didn't know how much this stuff had already grown in. So thankfully it wasn't that grown in. Okay, so that's the opening tee shot out of the way. So I wanted to hit a few extra tee shots. This is now just my second shot. Um, the pin is way over here, par five. I'm way too far away to even contemplate going for the green. So I think let's get it back in play. Smart play. Take your medicine. Perfect. Yeah, kept it lower than that. That's it. all right. We're back on the short stuff. Percentage play. 212 plays 214 on the laser. Um, I didn't go up and have a look at the pin, but I think it's kind of behind that bunker on the right hand side. So 214 into, into slightly from the right. I'm going to hit four iron, uh, which normally carries about 220, to, between 220 and 224. So this should, if it comes out nicely, be okay. Sit down. That, Sit. That, that, that could be on the second. That could be on the second tee. No, box. no, no, no. Just over. Put in. Is it? Yeah. You're that's on the got, green just. That's got a very soft bounce. That was, uh, that came out nuclear. Yeah, oh. it did land. So, I reckon it didn't pitch far, far off pin eye. Well, the greens must be super soft then because that, that come out really, really hot. Okay, 194 yards, third shot here into one. Little into from the right. So it's going to play over its number a bit. Yeah, I'm actually going to go one more. I think seeing yours, how quick yours stopped then. Last night there was a huge downpour. It's everywhere. I reckon it rained an inch last night. Yeah, it did, didn't it? It's everywhere softened up a touch. Right, five iron. I'm going to go straight at it. If it draws a fraction, it should be middle of the green. If we can escape here with a par, I'd be delighted. Hang on. Oh, a bit too much draw. There's a bit of room there. It's, that's it. That'll be okay. Yeah, not the best bounce off that bank. Bit of a pull. Yeah, I didn't use my legs. All in the arms, that was. It was actually a bit short, the flag. A bit short? Yeah, here. Yeah. I feel like today, I need to channel, channel my inner poulter. I have that belief and that confidence. This isn't, no, this is a, Okay, sure. See, I nearly went straight into negative mode again then. Bit of a bare lie here. Lots of green to work with. Just got to pop it up there. I'm going to go slightly toe down just to, because that bare lie. It's lying a little bit tight. Let's see if, uh, see if Rick can nip it. This might be some of the shots you start seeing, Ian. That was not a nice lie, to be honest. It was sitting down a little it bit. Was horrible. It was a nasty lie. I should have had more confidence on it, though. OK, we can chip in for par. Come on. Tip. Tip. Dig your teeth. Tip. Whoa. OK. It just ran on a little it bit. It did. Yeah, I think I got a bit fortunate, really, kind of the overnight rain softening that green up because that would normally be way down, way over the green. Little downhill chip should break a touch left to right. Oh. It's done the opposite, it dug its teeth oh. in. It's got a little bit of grip. What would you say the strongest part of your game is, Ian? Um, short game. Yeah. I think um, 
I think I've always been pretty comfortable. <laughs> I say short game as I've just chipped that on there to about 10 feet. <laughs> and that, that wasn't a loaded <laughs> yeah, question, by the way. That's when you should have started laughing, really. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that was like almost a guaranteed chip it. No. Um, <laughs> if I, I had said short game, then yeah, that would have been, <laughs> that would have been a laughing point. I think for the point. most part, like the creativity side. So, you know, um, shot shaping, being able to move the ball both ways. Uh, I've always been very comfortable around the greens if I'm short siding myself. Yeah. So after a dismal few shots there in a row, we've got this for a six. Up the hill, right to left. Greens look absolutely beautiful. Maybe a touch slow after that morning rain. Yeah. Come on, let's drop one in. Don't be giving too many back straight away. Hold your line. That's good. Oh, we finish them off. We finish them off. Yeah. Yeah. Probably shouldn't say that, but we do. Okay. Oh, double bogey on the bloody first. Why do I always start these challenges so bad? Ah. Oh. Okay. Downhill, left to right. Opposite to your putt. Very got, nice start. Got, got Very nice that. start. Poor chip. Three shot swing straight away in the first hole. <sighs> how, to, how to make it interesting. Rick Shields edition. <laughs> Good for mate. Okay, really nice little short par four actually. 385 yards. Dog leg right to left. The corner tree on the left hand side, you want to get it about 30, 40 past that. Don't want to get any more than that because you can run out in the through trees. Okay. Uh, elevated second shot, so you drop down towards a green. Nice little green that slopes hard right to left. Nice. You're going with two iron. Going to hit three iron. That's in a bit of trouble. Get through the gap. Mm, that's in. That's that's trouble. We saw it bouncing. Nah, that's trouble. That was not good. We got two iron or three iron? I'm going to go two. Okay. Pitching 220, 230 is, is absolutely perfect. Okay, great. 15 yards right of that tree that I missed to the left. <laughs> okay, here we go. First hole done. Let's recover well. Oh my God, that's bad. Quick. Ian, that was terrible. Quick. Run out of balls. <laughs> I've got the pro shop number, it's all right. I know, <laughs> you might need it. <laughs> Jesus, come on, Rick. There we go, lovely. Ah. That's what I was trying to do. <laughs> it took me two, two <laughs> attempts at it. I just, just don't know what it is when I'm playing with these tour pros. I get a little bit too silly nervous. I need to... Settle the heart rate and just get into it. <laughs> ah, dear. <laughs> ah, dear. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. Oh, what's happened there, Ian? <laughs> are, you sure you, are you sure you haven't sent one? One of, my one of the guys. team out to just go right. Okay, no, that's that's what you get at Woven Golf Club, right? If you're gonna if you're gonna hit one offline, wow, um, that's pretty much what you're gonna get. So let me move this out of the I'm way. Very intrigued to know what you're gonna do here. There's a little left-handed shot. Got to just, I mean, just a little left hand to try and get it. I mean, I might not even be able to get it to where your ball is. Uh, I should be able to. Oh, very good. <laughs> very good. <laughs> I'm guessing playing round here, you need to have that shot in the locker. Ah, uh, listen, I've played here long enough to know that we're going we're gonna to get a few of those every time you play. <laughs> okay, 132 is 128. It's four yards downhill. 128, breeze in off the left. Uh, 28 in off the left. Really spinny green. 
I actually think I'm not going to hit wedge just for the reason I think it's actually going to spin off the green. I'm going to hit a really chippy, chippy nine iron, which is a 150 club. Draw in. Spin. Tip. Oh. Oh. That could have been. That could have been nasty. You were 130, were you? Uh, I was 128, so you can take off take off three. So 125 in off the left. And it's going to spin like mad. Yeah, that's. I mean, that's why I ended up taking you know one, one more club and literally just chipping it. Okay. If you can be, if you can be at the pin, if not just right perfect because it kind of you Funnels can see in. the swale to the left it's in between yours and the flag right come on rick lot to make up for here not the start that i wanted to third shot the fourth shot sorry into this green that might if that spins hard it's going to be left into the bowl ah You called it. Damn. Slow putt from down there. I bet. That's what I was, what did you hit there, wedge? I hit wedge. That's what I was worried about. Oh, I'm not, I was worried about the. I'm not the most finesse with a, with a nine. Right, fifth shot now. Racking them up. But you never know, things can happen. Miracle shots can take place. I'm up the hill. Left to right most of the way. It's going to be slow up this hill. Go. Go. It's going to be slow up the hill. Wow, it really did put on the brakes. So I'm guessing yours is going to be have a bit of speed to it. Can be a little quick. Break, break, break. Oh, that's a lovely touch. Lovely touch. It was fast down that hill. At first, when you hit it, I didn't think it was going to get there. I didn't know if it was going to check like that one on the last one. Last one checked a lot. Right, up the hill, pretty straight, slightly off the left, if anything. Good read. It's almost like you've played here before. <laughs> many, many years ago. I didn't start like this, that's for sure. Solid. Thank you. Solid, solid. Good with the second ball. <laughs> Yeah, good pot. Cute. That was tough break off the tee there, Ian. I know it wasn't your best shot, but wow. to get stuck behind that tree wasn't wasn't particularly fair. <laughs> However, the next hole, I know it's one of your favourite holes, the next hole, isn't it? Might be one of the most pictured holes here at Woburn, I think. OK, 124 pin. Add two, because that's back there. So 126, 126 down, down 10. So 26, 16 pin, and a green that, that rip spins. It's heavily back to front, even though the greens are pretty slow today, it's, it's really hard to control the spin. So 116 pin, and I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna hit a 140 club, which is miles too much club, but I'm literally gonna chip it. Are you gonna, are you gonna allow for the spin or try and take the spin off well, it? I'm, I'm trying to take all the spin off, but I don't think I can stop, stop the spin. So uh, 116, we've actually got a bit of helping breeze, so. I want to land this five yards past the pin. So you're hitting pitching wedge? I'm chipping a pitching wedge. Okay. Come right. Down. Down. Spin. Spin. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Was that yards off being good? I've pulled it a couple of yards and I think Whenever you pull it, it's always going to add a couple of yards. I tried to land it just right at the pin because it spins sort of down a little, little bit to the left. Okay. What have you got? 
again, because I can't quite play that finessey one. Well, nor can I by the looks of that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go gat wedge. Okay. And just hopefully I can fly it about one, two, five, and then it spin back. I think it's going to work out. A little clean. A little clean. Oh, it's going to be delightful. Watch this come back. Oh, I just need a touch more. I, do you know what? I think by hitting it a little clean, you've taken some of the spin yeah, off it. Yeah, it definitely did. It's a good shot. You can imagine if this green was, was actually like tournament speed. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you, you barely ball. need to touch that and it, it wouldn't have finished there. It's gone. I've got to go around your coin, I think. Gone inside it. Oh. It did it didn't come off the face that well, did it? It's a little a, bobble. I had a lump of grass that I was gonna chip it because of that, but it would have been harder to have predicted the actual the actual right speed. Um, which I could almost guarantee by putting it. I mean, the thing here, I'm li I am literally setting this off. Three if feet, if, if two, two and a half feet left. I mean, I've hit a terrible I've gone part, more than that. Yeah, you might, you I mean, might. I'm, I'm over here. So yeah, I just see it coming. You, you might be up as far as this, yeah. to be honest. If 12 o'clock was the, the hole, I'm aiming at like half 10 here. And it's just all, it's just gonna, it surely has to get to the hole. Not high enough. It's going to get there. Even that wasn't high enough. No. Nope. Wow. I gave that so much respect up the left. Well, the good news is. It's a bloody stop, par on the stop car. The bleeding. It's a par on the bloody scorecard, everybody. <laughs> I just like to make these things interesting. You know, 10 shots. I'm not used to being 10 under par. I throw in a couple of doubles, get back to a number that I'm comfortable. I'm comfortable at 6 under par. So. Even this is breaking quite a bit. Loads. Oh, shy. A bit too much speed. Unlucky. Bogey. Unlucky. That nah, wasn't very good first part, was it? In fact, it wasn't a very good tee shot, to be honest. Scores through three. I've dropped four, so I'm six under. Ian's dropped one. Over. Fourth hole, par four, and another absolute stunner here on the Dukes course at Woburn. It's a slight dog leg left. In fact, it's quite a big dog leg left once you get round the corner. Um, tree lined right and left, like most of the holes are around here at the Dukes. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you play for much shape down here, Eno, or just hit it straight? Do you know what, you can hit it straight. The tree, the curved tree, yeah. which is like the through tree on the left edge of the path, is 312 to get to that uphill. So okay, yeah, I'm not gonna get that. Leaked it a bit. No, that's all right. Tell you what, that took uh, that had a friendly bounce this time. Members bounce in off about time. In off the trees, off the right. <laughs> Rick's played it three times. Gets a nice members bounce. He's been here for 20 years. Gets stuck behind a tree. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go with that bent tree. See, uh, see if we can get it up round the corner slightly. We'll take that one. Okay, okay so you'll have a backstop, right? So at 152 pin, if you landed this past the pin, say, well, coming out of the rough, it might not spin back, but you've got a buffer behind the okay. pin. Great. All right, so perfect. 52, and you've got a comfort zone probably to go up to like 160. Okay, okay. Feeling like this should be a good shot. I'm going to go straight at it, control that draw. Played a lovely shot. That's it. Mm, did it get up? Did it? Did you, did you think that flew a little bit? Uh, is it on the top tier or back tier? I couldn't see if it came back or not, but it. I'd be kind surprised of, if I've hit that over 160. To I, be honest. I would as well, to be honest. 104, 107. Uh, so 107 pin. 
I think the the helping winds caught you out there as well. I think it funnels down this hole a little bit. So well, now you've come up here, you can feel it. You can I feel, it feel it down there. No, I couldn't feel it either. 107. It's going to spin. Um, all right, I'm going to hit sand iron. Again, I'm actually, I'm a bit afraid about the spin. I'm not wanting it to kind of overspin. We don't get to hear this all the time from great players. Like the dialogue that's going through the mind is crazy. It's nice that we can hear it today. It's all over it. Oh, that's going to come back really off nice. the ridge. I don't know if it's going to come back too much though. That looked really nice. That looked good. Great strike. Oh, this is the bank right in the middle of the green. If I'd have been two yards shorter, there'd have been a chance this could have nestled down to the flag. I've pitched it here, which again, I mean, I've, I've landed that nine iron, honestly, about 162 yards, which is not the length I can normally hit a nine iron by any stretch of the imagination. Ian pitched his pretty much pin high, and it's just as expected, as he mentioned, it screwed back short the flag. I think the good thing is that, again, the grit, you know, in terms of pace, they're not, they're not super fast, no. so as long as you get the line right, I think you can manage the pace down there and it's not going to get away from you too much. And that last putt surprised me because I thought that was a guarantee to get to the hole and it stayed just a fraction short. So, still How far out are you seeing? I mean, a lot. You see the stripes on the green? Are you, in, like you, the you in, the light, in the light one? I was actually one left of that. Do you think one more slightly well, right? I'm actually in between those two, to be honest. Okay, speed control is key. Trust my line. Let's get it down in two. Not quite high enough, but the pace is pretty good. Yeah, I'll take that. Manage the pace well. I shall take that. It's always difficult when you are putting across a ridge like that to actually, A, feel, visually see, exactly the right line and yeah. then match the two up together because well you, you're right because all of the break took place in the first four feet yeah it Most didn't of it. it didn't break much after it didn't after it got kind of halfway down that slope really okay uphill i'm visually seeing just a hair right to left again slope up Oh, I thought I had that. I did. I knew, I, I was thought almost I about that. to curse you and say good port. I bit my lip and I'm glad I did because it just stayed out. Right, to clean up the par, just slightly inside right. Two and a half feet, solid, straight in the back of the hole. Yep. Right, two pars in a row. Now we're talking. <laughs> Welcome to the party. It took a while, but we're back. Short par five, um, if the fairways were any firmer, I think you can run out, you know, kind of on the left half of the fairway. Yeah. But there's two, there's, there's two trees quite close together, and then the left set just left of that is the absolute perfect line. Anything in the fairway here gives you a really good look at knocking it on the green in two, because it's only 517 yards. Okay. All right, good drive, come on, let's find that nice. I'm just trying to get a little draw down there. Got it going now, look at that, look. Money drive. It's good that is it? Yeah, that's very good. That is absolutely perfect. Back. Absolutely perfect, that's what I need to hear. It was hit bad enough. Is that all right? Yes, yeah, that's actually fine. I didn't want to say it before you uh, hit your yeah. shot, but midway through my backswing, I actually just thought for a second, oh, this is a long way to run back to the golf buggy for a provisional ball. <laughs> 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 I found 
five have you got Ian? Two, five, six. Two, five, six on the laser, hit a really, really necky, glaffy drive after Rick piped one right down the middle. <laughs> uh, I'm feeling a bit in into the wind. Um, I'm going to try a cheeky little chop cutty three wood. Nice. See if I can get it right the way back to that pin. Pin seems to be to right towards the back of the green, but if there wasn't any wind, I'd have hit the three iron. But this is this is way too much club. That's in trouble. Under the tree. Oh, whoa. That seems to hit a path. Um, might be okay. I mean, it's, there's nothing, it's just on another tee box, I'm guessing. It's, um, I think it hasn't quite made it to another, it's actually passed. Ah, uh, we'll see. Okay. Okay, so for a good tee shot, I'm 240 yards left to the flag. As Ian said, the flag's very far back on this green. So, yeah, I'd love to get back there, but realistically, anything on the green is good. Two iron in hand. Um, I just try and slightly fade on in there. Stay there. Nicely done. I think it's pitching just on the front. Lovely shot. Thank you. Okay, 25 foot for Eagle, and I'm down some country path road track my, somewhere. My technique on the first two holes. <laughs> Lulled me into a full sense of security. <laughs> is, it, is it droppable off the path? That's the question. In what sense are you allowed to I drop it? I don't know it? if it's a local rule or not. Really? It surely is. Okay, so Ian, after yes. new king, his three wood has ended up here on the path. Now we're just determining one whether it's a free drop. I would have definitely said it's a free drop. But Ian's also fancying his plane off the path. Talk about your logic here. Why, do you, why are you playing off the path? Well, if I, if I drop it here, I can't really. I mean, I know my lie here because I know I'm going to be able to get club face on ball unless I chunk it. But if I drop it, there's a chance it's going to get into a tufty light and I can't then guarantee how the strike is going to be which I can almost almost guarantee if I play it from the path <laughs> okay visually I want to land it about five feet short of the green yeah I want it to take one bounce on the fringe hop up and hopefully check love this shot That is... Roll out. Oh, I landed just a bit short. That is ridiculous. You were unbelievably unlucky there. Landed a bit short. Didn't quite give it enough. <laughs> I, love how, I love how he's annoyed after that shot. Because that was ridiculous. I would have never, ever have had the confidence to play that shot. And, and you really did get unlucky. It snagged in that bit of rough there. Right. Right, you got an eagle putt. Yes, sir. You've got an eagle putt. You've hit a lovely, what was that, two iron? It was. I must admit, that was, a, that was very, very nice. And to be honest, I don't know if I could have left myself a more perfect putt. No, you've, uh, you've got a good look here. I'm pin high, slightly up the hill. Anything falling left, but not by a lot. This is as straight a putt as I could leave myself on this green. This is generally a very hard green to read because there's really no real slope to, to really see. So I find this green one of the, one of the tricky ones on the course. Yeah, I think it's just on that. I'm almost on the, the back of the spine of the putt. Right, come on then. Let's have it. Still slightly uphill, so you still need to give it a bit. Got to go. Oh my goodness. Got to go. Got to go.
couldn't, I almost couldn't tell myself enough to hit it harder. I kind of slowed down as I hit it. I took a really good stroke. I mean, that is horrendous. After two good shots, that's poor. Right. Thought I was going to get at least one, if not two, back on you there. I'm now feeling you might do something special here. <laughs> No, nope. oh, that would have been one of the greatest up and downs I've ever seen. Unlucky. Okay. Right, still just inside right. Good read. Firm in the cup. Come on, Good Rick. read. Do not be that person. Knocking in for birdie. Good part. Ah, oh, good part. That would have been very frustrated if I had three footed then. Good birdie. Thanks, Val. Thank you very much. Right. Scores after five. Managed to get one back. Seven under total. Ian's one over. <sighs> Six hole, par three. 199 yards. Um, another just cracker of a hole. Great par three. Good. Good, good mid, mid long iron par three. Pins front half of this green. Um, ideally, if you could be just under the hole, so anything, anything just on that, you know, front mid portion's good. But you also don't want to like take too much off it, do you? Well, you could, it could easily you, just you come down. You definitely don't want to be in those front bunkers. <laughs> so I've got four iron. I'm going to try and land it up okay. there and hold it on. Oh, Rick. Is that dead, dead? Um, there's a... There's a lot of trees over there. <laughs> there is a lot it's of trees. a nice tree. way of saying it might be dead, dead. Oh, Rick. It's been a very long time since I've been over there. Grab a piece. It's just right at the green. Oh. Slight down. members bounce off the off the overhanging tree. I think it's about on the right edge of the green. Oh, nice. A little provisional, just in case. Provisional on par threes are never, never fun. Just really came out so of that, that. That wind should hold that ball, so just left of the pin. Should hold it. It's trying to push it back for you. Okay. Yeah, it's on there. It's on. That's the shot I needed, but. We'll go and find the first, hopefully. I'll tell you what, I'm not sure if you actually really do want to find that first one. <laughs> Is it that bad? Wow, yeah, I, I don't remember it being very good over there. Here you go. Oh, you, you, that, you got a shot. Is that mine? Yeah. You got to keep it underneath that overhanging branch. Just, I think I can, well, it depends if I can play safe and knock it out to the right and hope the bank kicks it back. Just the lie's not, I mean, I shouldn't be complaining, but the lie's not particularly great. To be honest, if you landed it here in the firm patch, if you landed it in the firm patch, it's going to hop forward and then the grass just short the greens a little little more lush it should slow it down i can definitely hit it towards you there all right so to some degree i've been very fortunate there. i hit a terrible tee shot pretty much shanked it out to the right here um overhanging tree that stops me going straight for the flag however i don't think i'd be going straight for the flag anyway out to the right keep it short and then just try and run it down that bank it's just sat down a little bit. I shouldn't be complaining because I found it. But it's sat in a little hollow. That's it. Just landed it just past that. I needed to go a bit further, a bit shorter, didn't I? Yeah. Damn. Just needed to land that shorter or actually land it on. Kind of got stuck in no man's land and hit the down slope. Okay, it should be a relatively simple chip, just in the, just in the rough, landing it, 
maybe three, four feet right at the pin on the up slope. So that's going to be a slow chip shot. Oh, lovely touch. Cute. Okay, third shot here now. Because I've got to be unlucky with that chip. <laughs> Sat down, but I've just just mistimed, misjudged where it's going to bounce. I'd love to chip this, but I'm still not 100% with it. I'm going to put it. Just got to get it through that first little bit of fringe. It's going to sweep a long way left to right. Still uphill as well. Yeah. Get it to the hole. Keep breaking easy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ah, oh, first time actually hit it too hard. Probably should have chipped it. Right. Uphill, right to left? Yeah, do not want, cannot have, will not have another double bogey on the scorecard. Come on, for bogey, up the hill, right to left. Speed. Damn. Try it. Oh, that's a silly, silly, silly five. Bad tee shot, but after that, I shouldn't have been taking five from there. Yeah, good three. Thank you. Good up and down. Thank you. Right. Scores through six. Means one over. I am back to only five under. Oh. Threw some shots away then. Okay, 473 yard par four. I would say this is one of the toughest driving holes on the golf course, because it's quite a nice sweeping right to left tee shot. You've got this tree bush in front of us, which is kind of blocking half the fairway. Okay. So, you know, you, you kind of have to go either up over the corner with a straight drive, or you need to hit you know, your natural shot. It needs slight, to turn. Slightly right to left. You do okay. not want this leaking off to the right hand side because there is a whole crop of trees there which normally gather it. So, and the wind's down off the left. So hopefully we can hug the left hand side and go up over the trees. Which I've hit it straight in those trees on the right. Get down. Unless it bounces Get hard. Down. Okay, right in the middle of those trees where you don't want to be. <laughs> <laughs> right, so there's a bit more room left. You've got 40 yards of that. Okay. 40 yards left of that. Oh, I've done the same as you. Much well, much you worse. might actually be on the fairway of. Uh... Oh. That was a double hit. Um, we'll ah. find it, but it's yeah in the trees. In those trees on the right. Ah. Remember, this is quite a funky green, isn't it? Is it? Is this it's one two tier green? Strong two tier green. I mean, in an ideal world, I mean, look, obviously you want to just punch it back out 60, 70 yards to give yourself a third shot. I mean, if you're being really brave. <laughs> Talk to me. I mean, try and slice one. It, if you've been really brave, I mean, you you almost could hit like a like a soft, open face chip three wood slice. <laughs> <laughs> Ian, you've watched it's, me play six holes. It's not really. It's do not. You think I've got that I'm, shot in the locker. <laughs> oh, I think you have. But um, chipping it out's the safe play. Okay, seven iron back onto the fairway. Get out. One way of doing it. Yeah, it's out. Tell you what, though, it just bit. like, wind like off, the look of that. Wind off the left. You like the look of that. Yeah. <laughs> like a little chip slice three wood. I also like my teeth. <laughs> <laughs> One eight six off the left. Just a little draw from the middle of the green. Dig your Hold teeth your in. line. Dig your teeth. Hold your line. That's a good golf shot, that. Thank you. Lovely golf shot. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. They're in there. <laughs> On the top tier. <laughs> They're in there somewhere. Very good shot. Thanks. OK, 171 pin. Wind off the left. You're playing a bit of a special one here. Yeah, I think we're going to have to try and play something here. <laughs> um, Love it. 
Gonna have to move 50 yards, 60 yards in the air. 71. Okay, I'm gonna have to. 171. I've got six iron. Okay. But I'm gonna have to open the face out a good 15, 20 degrees and try and hit like a hard, like a three quarter hard slice. Love it. Has it done it? Not quite enough, I don't think. Oh no, that could be in a world of trouble. Uh oh. That could be in a world of trouble. Well, Ian. <laughs> you know why he's you know why he's got lucky there? Because he tried the impossible. It's actually finished here, just short of the really, really horrendous stuff and very, very close to a graveyard. I was very nearly dead. <laughs> and you didn't even know there was a graveyard down there? I didn't know there was a graveyard there. That, that's ridiculous. That's absolutely. Eight feet? What is, how far is it? Might even be slightly less. Very Absolutely lucky. ridiculous. Very lucky. <laughs> Got away with one there, big time. <laughs> Do you ever shock yourself when you hit shots like that? Um, <laughs> I wouldn't say shock myself, but like I said, it, like the, the short game stuff is the is the interesting stuff, right? Yeah. You, you know. It's where you can be most creative. It's where you can have a bit of fun. It it's takes you back for being a kid playing those short game competitions around yeah. the chipping green you never you never played a boring easy chip shot you no. always played the semi impossible one right well we've got you're just a foot or so closer and we're both putting for par i'm just like downhill fall into the right majority of the way of the port the sun's come out for you as well do it oh Good try. That would have oh. been that would have been a mega four. Oh god, that hurts. That was a good. I thought that was a good putt as well. That, that was a good putt. Ah, oh, that would have been that would have been a good four out of the trees. Damn. Right. Show us Can how it's I supposed to be get done. Out of jail. Show us how it's supposed. If you if you write a four down here, that is ridiculous. That is absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. It's one of, you must, it's one, it's one of those. <laughs> uh, to your yeah. own, I'm sure your own uh, account, not a great tee shot. Didn't quite pull off the, the danger shot, but not bad. And then an up and down out of nowhere. Wow. Do you know what? That, that, that is, if, if you're playing match play, that right there is I'm an done absolute yeah. dagger through the heart. Yeah. 100%. Oh, ridiculous. Eighth hole, 409 yard, dead straight as you see it. Uh, bunkers down the right should not be in play. Fairly flat green, like, you know, this is a real good birdie opportunity. Yeah. I think we start, we've four. both made a birdie so far. I feel like we need a lot more, a lot more to be made. Wind's trying. Is that okay? Right hand rough. Uh, it's been the theme of the day so far. Okay, not ideal. Nice drive, let the wind carry it back in. Left hand trees. Kicked, oh, I think it bounced, clipped a tree, and then stayed a fraction to the right. One, two, four. Okay, one, one, twenty-four. What, what, what are you going to play us here? Well, I'm stuck in the trees. 
However, it's not actually too bad. See if I can, I can't, <laughs> it's one of those where I actually stood over the ball, I can't see the flag, but the ball can see the flag. I don't think the, I don't think the overhanging branch has any is is in play yeah. at all. I don't think there's much to this. It's just no, a, it's just a normal shot. Yeah, pitching wedge. I'm going to flight it down just a smidge in, just because the wind's picking up anyway. Um, and then just hope it doesn't spin too much. A bit heavy. No, I think that's really good. Spin. Oh, what a shot. Thank you, thank you. What forget a shot. I, forget the word that came out of my mouth. <laughs> I mean, naughty shot. That was nice, that. Is that, is that. is that the nicest shot of the day? It's up there. That two iron on five was pretty uh, nice. Two iron was pretty good. I think, I think I'm going to have to hit an open face 52. I've got 115 pin. This tree in front is, if I hit a normal 52, not this tree, but the one, yeah. this tree, I think is just about in my trajectory. So I think I might be able to open face, get it up under this branch, yeah. under this branch and up over that. And it might be okay. I like it. Open face 52. Is it good? Oh yeah, nice effort. Really good shot. Really good. Oh, we're having to work really hard for this. <laughs> <I'm telling> you. <laughs> this is a bit of a grind. So just to put into a little bit of perspective, we are literally filming this directly after a family holiday, holiday Ian has just done traveling around Italy and the bike ride I've just done from Scotland to Liverpool. So listen, if the standard of golf are we is making not... it, Are we making excuses <laughs> for <are>. some crap <laughs> golf? <laughs> If the standard golf isn't quite where it should be, <laughs> that's the reason why. And you just gotta deal with it. Like, subscribe, deal with it. <laughs> like and subscribe, just deal with it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Somehow, we've actually got two decent birdie looks here. Yeah. I, I've got to say, the greens are looking incredible. What's the green keeper you say called? Clarky. Clarky. He does work. an absolute awesome job. Um, Considering there's three golf courses here, an incredible short game area, to look after all that and the Titus Performance Center, incredible. He's the best in the business. Right, come on Ian, two, two birds would be nice. Do it. Oh! <laughs> Oh, robbed. My goodness. Robbed. That was unbelievably close. Right, slightly okay. up the hill, right to left. I can be firm up the hill. Just broke a little bit more. Again, right. they're super subtle. Hang on, mid, about I three quarters. I didn't see, I didn't see that much break in it. I had nearly walked it in and I'm glad I obviously didn't because it didn't even hit the hole. But it really snapped last minute. Okay, sweep up for the par, just out just inside the hole but left edge. Yep. Oh no birdies yet. Well there is one each we've made but I thought we'd have a better chance there. Right, beautiful little par three coming up. I am now four under. You are one over. Five in it. We've got 168 the pin. And that's a hole in one pin if I've ever seen one. Perfectly in view. Okay, green slopes a touch back to front. Gone to seven. Gone to seven. Might try and take a little bit of the wind out of play and just try and knock it down a touch lower. I don't like the low flight. I kept it under the trees, I just pulled it. Just just pulled it a little bit. What have you got? I've got seven. Because like I said, I kind of picked it once the wind was down slightly. I think if I hit a full one, the wind is slightly down right at the second, so let's pull the trigger now. 
straight down it, little butter cut. Oh, I pulled it. Should be on the green, hopefully. Mm, just off the left edge of the green, I think. That came out a lot further. Just pulled it. I think as you've turned it over, it's, yeah. it's ended up going on the wind. Okay, so it did just fly the green annoyingly, just come back into this little runoff area. Fairly decent lie. Not too much break once it hits the green, so let's see if we can get one threatening the hole. Easy. Easy. Left you a little more than you probably wanted. Yeah. It's a shame because it was nice contact. It always just stayed right on me. Okay, I've left myself 30 feet, 35 feet, uphill, left to right. Relatively, relatively slow putt back up the hill. Just hit myself, just hit myself in the ankle. Grow some legs. Go. Ah, I think it was on a pretty decent line. That was absolutely in the middle. It was. I don't think there's much movement in this putt. I don't. Right, so this needs to drop to keep a five shot cushion into the back nine. This has to drop. Come on, Rick. We need those five shot cushions. Pretty much straight up the hill. I see nothing but the bottom of the cup. Pulled it. Pulled it. Pull. Yeah. It's a dead straight putt. Ah, that's annoying. That is annoying. So after nine, I dropped way too many shots there. So that's. I am now three under, seven over front now, it's terrible. Ian, one over? One over. Also not very good. I don't think either of us are setting the world pat <laughs> particularly happy. <laughs> However, it makes for great content. We've got nine holes to go. Four shot difference. Okay, nine holes played. Yes. You've got a four hole buffer. Four shot, yeah. I wish it was holes. Four, four shots, shots from the ten, uh, 404 yard, dead straight par four. You can see the pin in the distance. Uh, there's a little bowl in the in the fairway at about 280. Um, in an ideal world, I'd like to hit one pretty decent and get it past that, leaving a sand iron to the green. Wind is down off the left. Start it at that little left hand small tree. Yeah, great drive. Go. What are you telling it to go for? I want it to get as close to the green as possible. <laughs> <laughs> there is a bowl down. Is, is that... it, it's fine, it's a fairway, but it's like it's just this little dip that you'll go through. You you should get it past it. Okay. Great tee shot there. She almost have to, it forces you to slide on left to right. Oh, too much slide. For right! Far enough or not? It could, Just another it, hole, it could it? get out. It could get out on the 11th fairway, to be honest. Damn, too much. One four six, um, slightly down off the right. One four six. Might like it might jump on you a touch. I feel like I need the loft. What have you got, wedge? Yeah. Yeah, I think that's good. Okay, so we're in the trees here on the side of ten. Um, however, if you just come a little bit closer, there is. Luckily for me, just in front of me, there's a tree that's not super super high. So if I can feed it through that gap, it's 146 yards to get there. 
I've got to absolutely nuke it and just get lucky. Let me go wedge. Oh, not fat it that far. Did he get out? Not quite, but not horrendous. Tried to lift it too much. 76, slightly down breeze. Um, Great drive, by the way, Ian. Thank you. See if we can have it dancing around the pin. Oh, beautiful. Oh, it spun back a bit. It did come a bit. Right, my, fir my first attempt out the trees didn't quite work out, but it's got me to here. Ian's hit a lovely little shot there. I'm 65, uh, sorry, 70 yards away. It's got to chip it with a little pitching wedge, run it up there. Played a lovely shot, I'll tell you what. Lovely shot, you, you love being in the trees for some reason. It's because I've, I've had enough practice. <laughs> I've had enough practice. <laughs> what a lovely shot. Thanks pal. There you go. Right then Ian. Okay, I think I need this, to be honest. Well, I needed to, I needed to play some miracle shot out the trees there. Realistically now, from where you're at, one over, yep. what are you expecting to shoot back nine? Um, three under. Okay, so that means I need to shoot one over. Have you got it? I've got it, I'm a bat nine player. I play for the bat nine. All right, come on then. However, if this trickles in, it's a great start to the bat nine. Oh. I'm not sure if that's still on you. Just a quick one, you can tell this golf ball has th been through a lot on this hole. It's absolutely battered. <laughs> battered and bruised. I think they're both <laughs> a bit battered and bruised. That was a lovely shot, by the way. Thank you. Yeah, it came out nice. Okay. For part. Well done. Thank you. Right. Very good save. Yeah, it was. Needed that one. That was a good save. Right, short par five here, but not an easy one, because it really funnels down there, doesn't it? Short par five, but it, it, it's, it's tight. You really, really have to put this in the fairway. Otherwise you're proper snookered. Bingo. Having to play with a bit of a cut today, that's all I've got. Okay, it's in the fairway. Yeah, good ball. Okay, driver's not been, eh, it's been all right, but a few loose ones, fairway needed on this. I feel like I want to hit a hard cut and just try and get it back in the fairway. Not that hard. Straighten up with the wind. Mm. Don't know if it's I think I've just, just... Got a, I think I've just got a phenomenal bounce, haven't I? Has it bounced out? Yeah. Did it? Yeah, it did. Friendly bounce has left you 256 yards to the pin. Okay. Wind's slightly helping. No. I think the wind is in off the right. Uh, 256. But okay. if you landed this 20 yards short the green on a lowish flight, it's going to chase up. Okay. What have you got? Well, I can I can do that with the two iron and a shot that I quite like, or I can try and fly it there with the three wood. Okay. Let me just see what the I mean the lies actually. Really nice. He'll be on the upslope. Yeah, I'm gonna go three wood. Okay, two five six. Just try and nuke this three wood. Be good wind. Needs a little nudge to the left and it will be on the green. Yeah, you've got it. What a shot. I'll tell you what, you've come to play on these par fives. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta hit a couple of good ones now and again. Well, that drive's got about 320. I fly six iron 192 yards, so all being well, a good solid six iron should be okay.
Wind. Come on, wind. Do it. It's died. Yeah, nice hit. Right, a bit of a surprise there. Mine's actually held in double teeth. Lovely teeping. shot there from 256 yards Thanks. out. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. That little uphill definitely helped. Um, both on the green, but I've actually hit the upslope and it softened the blow. Ian's hit lovely golf shot. It looked like it was all over it, but just carried a bit further. So he's on the back edge of the green. Still putting though. Two putts for Eagle. Two putts, Birdie. Yeah, it's probably a better way of looking at it. <laughs> Simmer. Okay, a bit of run. That wasn't very good. Up and over the ridge. Funny enough, I don't actually think this is going to break loads. I've got a little uphill to get up, and then it's starting to scoot down towards the hole. I actually don't see it going that far left or right. A little bit left to right, if anything. Ian's just doing some gardening. Excuse me. <laughs> Good pace. Good putt. Thanks. Did actually swing a lot more than I thought. Did you see much in this one? Yeah, I see it kind of moving a little right to left in the last four feet back uphill right to left might even try and go a touch to the right to begin with you knew that was a terrible part terrible part oh right An opportunity I do feel like I've just made this put twice as big in my head, but for birdie. Easy. Thank you. Easy four. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Right. I've got one back. I've got one back. 184, 12th hole. I feel like it's playing its number. Do you think the wind's going to help much here, Ian? I don't think it's going to help a lot, to be honest. I mean, it's really kind of the breeze has yeah. died off in the last half an hour. Oh, gone no, no tea. I just sometimes tea like to no tea. And tea. the difference for tea to no tea? I feel like tea gets me going left. Where if I try and get on top of it a bit more and squeeze it, okay. I feel like I fade it a touch more. He says, six iron, straight at it with a little fade. Go in the hole. Just left of the pin. Ah, oh. that was really nice. <laughs> <laughs> that was really nice. Back nine. And from now on, when we do these videos, let's just go. So this is what happened on the front nine, and then just jump straight to the back nine. <laughs> what a shot! Thanks, pal. Okay, I'm under a bit of pressure now, aren't I? Sure are. Okay. What do we say, 182? I feel like you love it. I feel this is what you live for. Oh, and it is. That's it. Stay there. Stay Hold there, the and go in the hole. Go! <laughs> Don't poke the bear, because <laughs> the bear will bite. <laughs> Very good, well done. Wow. Two pretty good shots there. <laughs> Gonna have to pull one out of the bag, I think. You got, uh, you're in your stride now. You've just did it 25 feet from 256 <laughs> yards on the last. <laughs> Easy little birdie. You've just hit a nice, from 182, you've just hit it to about 10 feet. And then you go and hit it to eight feet. <laughs> well, but I, but I, re I should do really. You I should mean, do, that's right. That's what I should do, that's what I haven't been doing, but I should, I should. Right, let's see two birdies. It's what the crowd want to see. We haven't given them. We haven't given them much. Uh, much at the minute, apart from some, some tree wonders. <laughs> right, up the hill, left to right. I'm gonna go just outside the hole and just give it a bit of speed. Come on, for back-to-back -back birdies. 
Pulled it. Oh, pulled it. Give it you know a go, you give it a go. It's funny what you were talking about before on the other tee about line and non-line. I didn't quite trust my line and therefore questioned it. So you, you line it up you line it up with a line on the ball? Well, either line or just the logo. Yeah. And I, I just didn't quite trust it, that one. Should have stopped and gone again. Anyway, can I nick one back? Oh. Oh. oh, making this harder and harder. How many holes left? Seven. Six. Christ, five in it. Okay, 430. There's a road that runs across the hole. There's a cart path that runs across at about 280. So um, anything 260 out there leaves you, you know, just probably like an eight iron on. That pin looks fun over that trap. You're trying to a little low stingy drawy one down Ooh, there. Little, little, little stingy. Not too much. Not too much. Not too much. You're going to have to hit another one of them. All right, for the second. You're going to have to hit another one of them for your yeah. second, I think. I wanted to stay left side, but yeah, I just turned it over. Is, is it? In actual trouble or not? I, no, it's not in trouble. I just think that you've got a bit of tree limbs overhanging, so Damn. I think you're gonna have to get another another kind of hard draw. Are you stinging or are you just normal? Um, I'm going normal, normal three iron, kind of over these left two red and yellow markers. Yeah. Perfect. Crusher. <laughs> okay, one, six, nine. However. However, you have got some serious tree trouble. The thing is, if I literally, if I don't pull it off, it's game over, in it? I mean, I fancy it, don't get me wrong. I've got it in the locker to be able to bend it that much. But the thing is, I've got to bend it way left of the flag. What was it, 170? What are you saying? <laughs> 170? Have you got this in the locker? Of course I I'll have. tell you what, I, look. If... This is my stock shot. I'll tell you what, I'd love to see it, because it would be a hell of a... Well, what club you got there? How far did you say it was? Not that club in your hand. OK, it's 170. Right, 170, what club you got? You got seven, seven. on. This is way too much club. Because you're going to have to hood it. Like, where, where are you, where are you visualising this shot? I, I can't decide if I'm going to go under the branch or over the branch. Well, you need to go over, because if you go low, it's never going to have enough height and carry. Okay. Right, so you've got to go through the, the upper limb. That window. That, that little window, and you're going to have to turn the face in a bit, I think, to get enough snap hook on it. Yeah, I got this. So, if, if you turn in the eight iron, eight iron's almost turn into seven iron anyway. Yeah. And you even don't want, you even don't want this jumping too much. Okay. Otherwise, that would technically be too much as well. So I actually think you could play this like a like a nice smoothish hooded eight iron. <laughs> I'd give I'd give you twenty to one. My, my. I'd give, you my biggest I'd, give, concern, I'd give you 20 to 1 on the shot. My biggest concern is if it just goes straight. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. You'll just be down on the fourth hole. That's all. If it goes straight, it's game over. So would you rather go to hit a 9 iron and hood the 9 iron in, right? Hood the 9 iron in more, which is going to give it more hook spin. Yeah. Right? Because the only fear, my, you know, if, if I was actually standing there playing this shot, I would hood it with a nine iron. And for what reason? Because I would hood, so I would hood it at least closing the face enough to take that to an eight iron. Yeah. And I think if the ball jumps a tiny bit, I think that's enough. At least if it hooked enough, it'd get in the front bunker. Okay. I just think. Do you think you, I can hook it enough to get it on the green from here though, with nine? Yeah. Uh, 
it's hard, but I do think it's doable. Okay, hold on to your hats. I mean, this is what they call shit or bus, really, but. Yeah, this is game over or. Don't be afraid to hood it in and don't be afraid to try and hook it, I think. <laughs> I think I need to hook it. Oh. Stay up. Okay, I actually think you can play that. That was really unlucky. But I tell you what, if that misses that I branch, know. that is comfortably in the middle of the green, no problem. You played a world oh. of a shot, but it just, oh, that was nearly unbelievable. 168, helping off the right. I oh, come on, this will be a timely three if we can pull one off. Hit it skinny, down oh, with you. Oh no, get all that bank. Damn. Not very good, was it? Ah! Uh, it's not actually that bad. Yeah? It's fine. <laughs> Where is it? It's alright, it's fine. The uphill gives me enough loft. Right, after my very unfortunate hook shot that just caught the branch i've come down here and i can to be honest it's actually not horrendous i'm just in the fern it could have been game over disastrous I feel like sometimes you get rewarded for being brave so i've got just see the top of the flag bunker to get over i'm actually going over the bunker from here mm, just the edge of it just the corner of it Down, Shep. Come out lovely, just too much. Very clean. I'm saying I can feel a couple of these conifer just under the ball, which is not helpful because I need to get under it to loft it up. So um, hopefully it doesn't make the club bounce as I as I strike it. See if we can pop it up. Go. Oh, it's come out too good. Shot Ian. Thank you. Right, needing up and down here. Cannot have another double bogey. Sit. Sit. Wow. Is that gone gone? No. It's uh, a yard off the green. Ah. Chipping still probably. Yeah, it's definitely chipping. <clears throat> oh, that was bad. Oh, I feel like I'm making a bit of a hash of this. Chipping here would be timely. It's a good touch. It's a good chip. Damn, that's a silly. I had so many bloody double bogeys. Four doubles in this round. I'm just throwing these shots away annoyingly. That was a, annoying, that, because. Bad tee shot granted, not the right position. But after playing that brave shot, I felt like I was very unlucky there. Right, come on then Ian. Not one in for par. <sighs> Christ. You're not being far away, but you're not old. <sighs> Nothing's dropped for you. Not good enough, I'm afraid. Nothing has dropped for you. 14th, par 5, 564 yards. Four more holes, five more holes to play. I've got a four shot lead. Okay. <sighs> Can reach this in two, but it needs to be a pretty, pretty decent tee shot up that left half. Anything to the right, there's a bit of a dip and a bowl where it's, uh, it's kind of thick, heavy, rough. So we've got to hug this left half pretty good. Hang on. 
don't kick right. Yeah, nice. Oh, it worked. You got a nice little yeah. kick forward there as well. Is that good? I think it's just about okay. Anything right of that's problem. That's getting trouble. Okay. Yeah. Down that left side. Good drive. Thank you. That's perfect. Yeah, thank you. Okay, 309 to the flag, but 210 to that bunker on the left. I think I'm just gonna lay it short of that. I just see C3 would just get me in trouble. Because it gets does get tight. Five down irons there. Are, five irons are right play. I mean yeah. it's, it's gonna leave you 110. Yeah. Perfect. You still wanna be left side of the fairway though, don't you? Yeah. Not oh, there, you idiot. Oh, I'm sorry. Middle of. I'm sorry. Middle of the fair. No, I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. That's. <laughs> you can't apologise. I'd be eat, I'd be lapping that up right now. No, because it's not right, Ian. It's not right. It shouldn't happen. <laughs> That shouldn't happen. I mean, it was absolute dog meat, straight right <laughs> in the middle of the absolute, in the middle of the woods. It's perfect. It's like, you couldn't have planned it any better. And it's your day, it's your day. <laughs> uh, Roy the Rover's shot coming up, I think. What are you thinking? Uh, I'm not thinking, because I've pulled three wood out, so. Um, <laughs> Off the down slope, ball a foot below my feet, 270, 270 yards out. I've got a mound in front of me, which I actually think this is probably borderline to hit. And I'm two over par. So, <laughs> so everything's in your favour? Yeah, I mean, it's a suicide shot, but this is where the magic happens, though. I mean, what's it going to do? Make everyone laugh on YouTube. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, that's no one's laughing at that. N Go on. More right. Go on. Oh, my goodness. It's caught the edge of the trap and stopped it. Wow, no one's laughing at that. Oh my goodness. Everything, everything was stacked against Ian then on that shot. And bar it moving one more yard to the right, it was Would near it perfect. Up? Near perfect. From memory, Long's dead, isn't it? Is um, there a bank over the back? I can't see, no, it's not really dead, but like, you want to pitch it far enough and a, probably a yard past the pin because you don't want it coming back all the way back down that, that ridge. Is that pin on like a back tier? It's on a back tier. I can't work out how much there is behind the pin, but you want to keep it on that top ledge. So I would be definitely trying to land this like 115. Okay. Because it's going to spin back a couple of yards. So after my perfect layup, I can't say, I couldn't even say that with a straight face. <laughs> 113 yards. I'm going to go in with a little gap wedge. In between the silver birch and the flag. Perfect. Mm, it's oh, not up the rigid, right. I think. Nope. Oh. Little low on the face. Too much off yeah, it? Yeah, way too much off it. Felt like it was kind of borderline too much club. So you say there's a chance? Somehow, Ian, your golf balls defied gravity. Well, and it, I was and slide, I it was sliding from 40 yards left of the green. So the, the ball has come in literally from this angle and somehow it's finished there. You're getting all the shots here today on in the video. Every shot possible. I've seen left-handed shots, 
rescues out of trees, 70 yard slices, 50 yard hooks, dunks, <laughs> chunks. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, all the bad ones. The only thing we haven't had yet is a shank. <laughs> oh, this time. <laughs> this time. <laughs> and I've, I've got clothes, don't worry. That is, honestly, that is seriously unlucky. From where he was and how far back he was, to have even got it this close is a miracle. And to be left with that, I mean, that is harsh. Are you going in the bunker? Gonna have to. Don't have a choice. Ah, oh, this is not nice. That, that's the shot of the day. That's the shot of the day. Thank you. <laughs> right, after an incredible buddy Houdini from the side of the bunker, Ian's got that for birdie. I've got this for birdie too, but it's long range, up over a hill. And I know from experience, these have been somewhat slow when it's uphill got to get it up there come on one more birdie on a par five would do nicely slammed it you got that one there slammed it ah is it just on me still I didn't get uh, it closer than you shot from the side of the bunker. I, I think it's just me. <laughs> what do you tell yourself on putts like this? These ones that you have to make. Um, you just, I mean, you just tell yourself that you're just never going to miss it. So it's all about, it's all about kind of being, being overly confident to, to your line and pace yeah um there's no doubt in your mind it's gonna go in it went in it wasn't the most confident of pass, to be honest it, it was went in i thought it could leak a little bit to the right that's why i didn't hit it overly hard but i've made this one a bit more you have that was a bit a more very... tricky can sit just think for a minute the, how you've made birdie on that hole is pretty good, isn't it? Yeah, well, you, my caddy would have absolutely killed me had I have said to him I'm going to hit three with him for my second shot. <laughs> um, but then we, we pulled a decent chip off from, from a not very nice lie in the trap. OK, for par and to stay just three ahead. Where did you see that part? I think I read it too fat, too straight. Well, my, mine tried to mine tried to get out. Deceivingly, like it looks like a straight part, and that's where I originally read mine, and it actually was pulling. It was pulling that way where you missed it. <sighs> so that, this is now going to be slightly off the left. And it just doesn't look it, does it? No, it looks so flat. Right, <sighs> for bogey. It did move. Oh, it did, didn't it? Yeah, it did Damn. move. Should have learnt a bit from yours. Right. Makes it interesting for the final few holes. One under, you're one over. Three to go. 15th hole, par four, 435 yards. You can see the flag, it's dead straight down there. However, on the right, it's trees, and on the left, it's trees. You've got to go straight. Um, I think I've got it. I mean, it's a tight fairway, right? I mean, you can. You know, as a, as a straight shot, it, it looks very tight. You can carry these trees on the right. So it's either lay it sort of down the left half with iron. Yeah. Probably leaving eight iron in, nine iron in. Or get it down there a bit further, so. Okay, two in it, four to play. You're gonna carry. So bad. That hit a lot of tree. It did. So, ah, oh, I don't know. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna bomb it. Shut my eyes and hit it hard. Get away from 
from the trees. I think that one's okay. It's in the rough on the right, but it's okay. Ian's here for the content today. He knows, he knows. If you give yourself enough miracle opportunities, one of them is gonna come off. And I feel like this might be the one. What are you looking at? What are you looking at? What are you thinking, Ian? I'm thinking I'm, I'm, I'm struggling here. Uh, I've got 189. Um, I do have a small window, but it is small. Through the gap, under the branches, land it 20 yards short of the green. Hopefully it skips up there and misses this gorse on the right and misses the, this tree, that tree, <laughs> 150 yard post. Well, let me move that 150 out your way. Hold on to your hats, everybody. It's a kiddie friendly show, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> wow. We can bleep. <sighs> right, 167. That's gone left as well. You got me on the ropes. I have. Lots can happen yet though. <laughs> Okay, 152 yards into the pin. I'm gonna go nine iron and just try and control it in there. Right side of the pin, pin eye. <laughs> Tell you what, he's doing really well. <laughs> he's doing unbelievably well. Oh my God. <laughs> Right, after my 9-9 layup, I've left myself here, just on this beautifully manicured apron. Come on, Rick, it's time to shine. Time to hit a good wedge shot in front of Ian Poulter. Down. I, mean, I struck it nice. <laughs> nice and clean. <laughs> okay, come on. I need to hole out for par. Nope, that's terrible. Ian's terrible and my terrible are very different. I know you won't be too happy with that, but it's a very difficult bunker shot. He was short side himself, it wasn't easy. Right, after an aggressive chip, we've got a sloping one, left to right, down the hill, it's gonna be fast. Be frustrated if I made a hash of this, so let's roll it Do nice you want that pin close. left in? Please, bit of a backstop. A bit of a hash of it, more than what I needed to. More than what I needed to. Slightly regretting not hitting three iron down the left half now. <laughs> yeah, it's a very tight tee shot. Another must make. And make it, he must. I'll tell you what. Considering you didn't, in your own mind, I'm sure, you didn't hit a good shot on that hole. But you still no. won top with five. It was a scrambling five. Just a bit. Right, also for five. Up the hill, dead straight. Yep. Right, no change in the score. Still two in it. Three to play. 16, 449, 245 carries this left bunker. Okay. Uh, the fairway sort of pinches in on the right hand side and again you've got those left trees that kind of encroach a little bit so, so in an ideal world are you going over the bunker on right I'm gonna it? go I'm gonna go sort of over the right half of it and okay. if I leak through it a little bit it's it should still be okay okay perfect perfect Okay. Really nice ball. 
I reckon if I catch one a bit higher off the face, it could hit that tree. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go drive there, um, over that bunker as well. Straight in line with the big tower in the background. Oh, you nearly called it. Where's it gone? Where's it? Uh, it's just left of the trap. Stayed in the rough, just like you're going to have to hit. You're going to have to hit your trusty little low. That never hit the tree. <laughs> that popped off. <laughs> you're going to have to hit a little hook. I manifested it. You talked yourself, you talked yourself nicely into that. See that overhanging branch? If I roof this, it's going to go straight into that. Just wanted to show you if I could. I, I could do it if I wanted to. <laughs> uh, you've got 181 total. You got a bit of tree trouble. Again. So 181. <laughs> Um, I don't have to draw it as much. No, you just go few holes at that pylon with about a 20 yard draw. 181. 181. Probably kind of come out a little hot. Probably mm. wants to land 171 because it's tumbling. So right, you're going to go. Rock it an eight. It's gonna, I'm going to have to hood it a bit. I think that's the shot though. Seven, I just see a bit, bit too much. I think seven, you could pitch this nearly pin high. Yeah, okay. So eight iron, hook it round. It's not a huge hook. It's a normal golf shot. <laughs> Aim at the bunker and just hit it normal. Played a lovely shot. Don't go big. Just off the right edge. It was a nice shot, but... Yeah, it was weird just, that. It kind of straightened up. Well, the wind, the wind is fractionally off the left. So I think it, it hooked for the most part when it had the spin on the ball. And as the spin come off, yeah. I think the wind took it then to the right. That re Honestly, I thought that was definitely going to be more in line with the flag once it landed. If it was the right club, if you'd have hit seven, it'd have been, yeah, it'd have been way massive. over. One, three, six. Need to pitch it. Two past the pin. So one, three, eight. Breeze off the left. I'm going to go wedge. Wedge. I need to finish birdie, birdie, birdie. <laughs> you might not need to, but yeah, for your own score. Looks nice. Spin. That looks really nice. Okay, after playing, I honestly thought it was a really good shot from behind the trees. It's not too bad, it's just off the side of the green. I've got the putter out for some security. Ian's put it in nice and tight. How far are you away, Ian? Four feet. Really nice shot. Give me range, really. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is he going to get there? <clears throat> My eyes are playing tricks on me there. I felt like it looked so much more downhill, but it wasn't. Right. Great wedge shot in, Ian. Thank you. Really nicely played. A little bit down left to right. For birdie. Very, very nicely done. Come on! Very nicely done. <laughs> <laughs> right. To keep the deficit just to one, with two to go. Good part. Thank Very you. good. Thank you. One in it. Two to go. One and two. One with two. This is a great par four. It's a hard dog leg right, which then turns straight once you get around the corner. So um, it's 275 to run out on that on that big wide fat trunk down that left half. So 275. If I can hit this 245, 250, I should be short, short of that tree, but kind of on line with that tree, because all those right trees overhang. So. I love the intensity. Right, come on then. Here, stick it down there. So you're going left side of the fairway? Left half the fairway. I hate losing. I am not losing. 
Stay left. A little. No, it's coming back nice. Come on. That is now A1. You and your golf ball don't like losing. <laughs> that was like it was on remote oh. controlled. Oh, come on. Right, I'm going to go driver. I mean, this, this tee shot is just absolutely epic. It's a it great, really is. great so, tee shot. So good. Too much, there's no room on the right, is there at all? Well, th there is, but like you'd have to go, see the right hand stump on the right edge of the fairway? Yeah. Like you can't really be much more right than that. Okay. That bit of sun you can see on the silver birch is perfect. Big okay, feet. if it sits and it's not too, sit, sit, sit. Mm. Okay, you could be royally blocked, <laughs> or, just or you could have got, got away with one. Oh. That's 50-50, that, that tree is pretty fat. Damn. Right, it's getting tense now. There's two holes left to go. Ian's put himself in A1 position. You can just tell, he's just flicked a switch. He has internally, he wants blood. 160 off the right. He wants blood. It's the best iron shot you've hit all day. Oh, is it a touch big? That was Absolutely ab flushed it. It was all over it. It was all over it, but he's just, the adrenaline. Do you know what I mean? It's what happens. These 10 shot challenges brings the best out of them. That has just gone 10 yards deep, I think. It's the adrenaline. It's yeah, just... Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Drive a bus through there. Would you go low or sling it? I think it's just low, isn't it? Straight at the pin, 140, well, 142. Just a little bump and run, isn't it? Although, I tell you what, you're so comfortable hitting a low, like a draw. Like if you, again, hooded one in, hit a little draw, the first bounce that it's going to have, it will kick it quite a long yeah. way left. So to be honest, the safer shot to play is just like a little low, like a little low draw. Yeah, so we've got space here down the right. I could go straight at it, but there's literally no benefit at all. I'm gonna go down towards that bunker, a little low slinger. If it hits off the bank, everything feeds back round to the flag. Oh, you absolute idiot. And all, add the whole, of the UK on the right. I mean, you chose the safer. <laughs> you chose the safer. <laughs> oh, you! Uh, I, I think I just hooded it too much at address when I, I didn't really need to. It didn't need to move that much no, because the, the ground would have done. The ground would have done all of that work for you. Oh, would have got ground draw. Damn! Silly shot. I can't believe it. We well, had that. 142. You've now got 135. Oh, decent. You've hit it, so you've hit it seven yards. <laughs> seven <laughs> yards and 60 yards seven. wide. Right, pitching wedge. I just wanted a clear line into the hole. This is going to be the greatest up and down I've ever done. Played one. Break the flag. Played one. Oh. oh. Would you hit wedge? Wedge. Flyer. Big flyer. Oh, I thought that was absolutely money. Adrenaline, you see? Pumped up. <laughs> Adrenaline, I got a bit lob wedge. <laughs> Can't believe I hit that tree. Oh my God, it's massive, Dude, massive. Look how far that's gone. Cannot believe how far that shot's just gone. I tell you what, this will be a hell of a four. <laughs> if this goes in. Oh, I cannot believe how far it's just gone. Over the back of the green. Not the greatest line in the world. Think about this. Is he gonna play us an absolute wondrous shot? He's gonna go for the lofty version. Played a lovely shot. 
That's it. Mm. Just flew it a bit, but bounced on you a bit. Fly was lie wasn't great at all. Ah. Got to do something now, Ian. Putting for birdie. I'm putting for bogey. There's only one shot in it. <sighs> Damn. Down a little left to right. Right. He's got it. Right. Oh! <laughs> very, very nicely played. Oh, crap. This to be level going down the last. Come on, knock it in. Let's let's be all square going down the last. Be, I will be punching my chest. <laughs> Come Ian. on. If this goes in. Come on. For bogey. And to be level coming down the last. What a pot! <laughs> Give me that! <laughs> what a pot! <laughs> Give me that! <laughs> Great pot. Oh my that goodness. <laughs> Listen, that I, I, had, I had peck bruising for about a month after that. I bet. Uh, Jesus. That level. Playing the 18th hole. That really, that really hurt. I shouldn't have done, <laughs> shouldn't have done it that hard. <laughs> this is it. Ian. <laughs> Just calculating, that's all. <laughs> Last hole. Level pegging. One over, the one over. I am yet to beat any tour pro at this challenge and almost every single match has gone down to the last not saying this is the biggest moment in yours and my career but it might just be the biggest moment certainly my career right talk to us Ian what we're doing now in 18 okay uh, we can um, we can go for the soft shot like we're probably both gonna do and lay up down the left hand side um, or it's 356 to the green. I can't reach the green, so it's stupid for me to even try and knock it on the green. So I'm going to hit four iron down the left-hand side. It's 356. Where's the if this goes, if this right? goes 230, which it should, um, and I'm aiming of the fattest of the trees down that left-hand side, yeah, should leave me kind of 120 in, 125 depends where the pin is. Okay. Pin looks middle right. Okay. It's all got very serious. If you've enjoyed to this point, be sure to like and subscribe. Club twirl, early tee pick up. Position A? Fairway. <laughs> what was that four iron or three? Four iron. That's probably got about 220, it's got about 220, 225. Okay. Okay. It's all built to this. 18th hole. I'm actually going to go two iron. I wouldn't stand there. I need to hit that shot that I hit on that par five earlier in the round. Same line is perfect, just past me. Lovely tee shot, Rick. Lovely tee shot. Thanks, Lovely pal. tee shot. Thanks, pal. Can I call you Pulse yet? Yep. Great, thanks, Pulse. <laughs> <laughs> right then, Ian. Okay, 123, I've got a horrible number here. I would normally pitch 52, 123, but I actually think it's gonna rip spin 20 feet. Um, so I'm feathering a wedge in there. Okay. Um, horrible in between number. So let's see. Let's see. Dig your teeth in. Dig. Dig. 
Spin. Oh, <laughs> that is, that is saucy. I'm happy with that. That is saucy. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> what have you got? I've got 119. 119. This you said, is, you said honest, it's a good number. It is a very nice number for me. Certainly with that little bit of spin. What's interesting between our shots, you were slightly uphill. I'm slightly on a downhill, so it's going to come out a tiny bit hotter. This is what at least a thousand balls of practice in my lifetime has led to. One shot to get closer than Ian Poulter on the final hole here at Woburn. 119 yards, gap wedge. It's just, it's just a nice one. It's just a really nice one. Oh, look. That's in the hole. All over it. Spin and in. Oh! <laughs> I tell you what. It, it was a lovely shot. It was a lovely shot, but that's what I was worried about as an in-between yardage. Too much spin. Oh. Too much spin. You got some work to do now, I'm afraid. Oh, lovely looking shot. It was all over it, wasn't it? I honestly thought that I'd had a little chance then. I mean, it would have been weldy had you hold it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> I'd have cried myself to sleep, but <laughs> oh, my heart is beating out of my chest. Just come and look at this. This is where my ball is finished. But look where it pitched. I mean, it was absolutely. It's it was money. There. If it had pitched there with one more club on a soft, on a kind of softer flight. I, I mean, needed to pitch it right back there, didn't I? Yeah. Damn. Right. Anyway. It's all right. Still in the game. Away. This is the wonders of a match play scenario, which we've got right here. <laughs> yeah. All square, playing the last. If you bin this, this putt all of a sudden looks a little more tricky. Do you want it out? Yes, please. Come on, Rick. So this is what we got left. Up the hill, right to left. To some degree, the way it's actually spun back down this hill is actually giving me a bit of an indication of what this putt's gonna actually do because from where it pitched and went past the flag and spun to here, it doesn't look like there's been a lot of break going to slightly move to the left, uphill, right to left. Guys, genuinely, if you've enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe, like the video, leave a comment, check out Pulse, he's been a legend. Right. Come on, knock it in. Give me some work Belief. to do. Belief. Up the hill, right to left. Give it a chance at least. It's on a lovely line. Oh! <laughs> what a great effort. Oh. That's a really good putt. Really good putt. I thought I had it. I absolutely thought I had it. I thought you had it too. Oh my goodness. I thought you had it. Oh. Good speed, not far off line. Oh. Can I tap that one in? Please. In for par. Finishing one over par. No, it's not stellar golf, but when you're playing against a tour pro, it's bloody hard. This putt is for the win. This is to get back to level par and to win this 10 shot challenge. Talk to us, Ian. What do you see? <laughs> or do you not want to talk? <laughs> <laughs> it's a little left to right. Um, it's just a little left right. Why did I have any level of doubt? <laughs> do you agree? That was absolutely epic. What? Made me sweat. Made me sweat.
What a finish. That was great fun. Third of the last to take the victory. Still not beating a single tour pro. That was good. Well done. That was great. Who I should enjoyed I challenge that. next? Who do you think would be a good player to play against? Um, I think you should challenge um, Henrik Stenson. Around Nona. Stenson at Nona would be awesome. Honestly, Ian, you have been today, just in general, amazing with your time. You've been phenomenal on camera. I know the golf from either of us wasn't stellar, but you made it so entertaining and interesting. Guys, be sure to follow Ian on all of his social media. That was a good Thank match, you. mate. That was awesome. I really enjoyed it. Really good. Till next time. How do you do it? Subscribe, click and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. We'll see you next time. Oh, I can't believe it. <laughs> <laughs>